Hello guys and welcome to a new video and today we'll be showing some love to the QQ9 with my favorite loadout shown on the screen. This gun will get a big buff next season which will turn it into one of the best if not the best SMGs in the game. I'm not gonna test the next season QQ9, I'll do that when the new season is officially out. Because the leaks of the buffs and nerfs are always subject to change. So in this video first of all we're gonna do some comparisons for the current QQ9 and after that I'll show you an aggressive gameplay using this gun just melting enemies left and right and in case you want to jump straight to the gameplay then skip to the time shown on the screen i hope you guys enjoy and let's get started oh my God. Before we jump into the comparison, there is one big decision you need to make when it comes to building your QQ9 loadout. Do you go for the normal 45 round mag or do you go with the 10 millimeter mag? So I did the math and as you saw in my build, I went with the normal 45 round mag. Even though the 10 millimeter mag has a damage boost as well as a body part damage multiplier, it still has an overall less killing time, all because of that minus 10% fire rate. As you can see here within the first 10 meters, the QQ9 with the normal mag has better killing time in every single part of the body however the 10 millimeter mag gives you a bit of an extra range but i don't think it's worth it now that we answered that question let's move on to the comparison between the qq9 build we made today and my favorite mag 10 build which is the main choice for most smg players these days so the qq9 has a fire rate of 833 rounds per minute while the mag 10 fires 1200 rounds per minute as for the killing time we'll be testing against an enemy with 300 hp and since we're comparing smgs we'll focus on the first two ranges only so the qq9 has better first range from 0 to 13.2 meters while the mag 10 is only 0 to 4.9 meters as for the killing time in the first range the mag 10 dominates in every single part of the body except the chest and for the second range the qq9 not only has better range but also dominates the killing time in every single part of the body Next, we have the hipfire accuracy, and we have two accuracies to compare. The initial accuracy, which is the one before you start shooting, and the max accuracy, which is the maximum accuracy your gun can reach as you keep shooting. So the QQ9 has better initial hipfire accuracy with 13.9, while the Mac 10 has 14.4. As for the max accuracy, the Mac 10 beats the QQ9 with 50.4 compared to 54.7 for the QQ9. And keep in mind that lower number means better accuracy. Other things to consider, first of all, the mag size. The QQ9 has 45 bullets, while the Mac 10 has 53 bullets. But I swear, it's like having 10 bullets. Blink once and the entire mag is gone. The Mac 10 also has faster reload time than the QQ9. And finally, we need to consider the movement speed as well, as it helps you strafe left and right in close range encounters. And the Mac 10 wins again with 5.26 meters per second, while the QQ9 is at 4.87 meters per second. So let's answer the final question, which SMG is better? And for me, I can easily say the Mac 10. The faster killing time at the first range combined with the movement speed and the fast reload makes it a better choice. However, the QQ9's range can come in handy and a good reason to choose it over the Mac 10. Also, if the leaks are accurate, the next season the QQ9 might actually beat the Mac 10. Now, let's move on to the gameplay. I really enjoyed this game. It had lots and lots of action. I hope you guys enjoy.
Your teammate are eliminated. Down to the last five teams. Your teammate has been killed. Trap deployed. Trap deployed. Trap deployed. deployed. I feel bad for my teammate here, he got knocked twice and remained knocked for over a minute. I tried to revive him on time but I had to let go in the last second, otherwise we both would have been dead. But that enemy really wanted him dead, it's like he stole his girlfriend from him. Collapse imminent. Get to safety. Engaging the enemy. Enemy down. Trap deployed. Not much I could have done there, the enemy had a shotgun and he caught me off guard. I could have maybe slid to the side to dodge his shot then engage. But anyway, my teammates got him and I came back and found my loot untouched. So I went back into the action right away. Your job is coming. Your teammate has been killed. Is coming. Trap deployed. Trap deployed. Yeah. Airdrop is coming. Airdrop has been delivered. Circle collapse imminent. Airdrop is coming. Inbound. Airdrop has been delivered.
aircraft deployed. I almost died here because of this dumb mechanic in the game where your gun stops shooting behind cover and I really think they should fix it. And this enemy could have easily one tapped me through the window but instead he went for an even easier kill with a peak advantage. And even though I threw smoke to block his vision he still almost got me. I just find it funny that the enemy has a loadout at chest that can easily one tap me there. Yet I'm the one chasing him. It reminds me of that video where the mouse is the one chasing the cat. Luckily his aim wasn't the best and then my teammates got the final kill to end the game. So to sum things up, right now the QQ9 is definitely one of the best SMGs but not really the best. It's just good to use for a change. And we'll test it again next season with the new stats. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did, a like would be highly appreciated. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.